Hello and welcome to another episode of Geared Toward Gear. My name is Sean and I am so glad you're here. I'm really excited about this unboxing. As you can see from the title, this is the Giant Mouse Ace Clyde. Now, this is a knife that's been very anticipated for a very long time and it arrived in the mail today. I'm going to upload this as soon as I'm done filming and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So, just a quick backstory on Giant Mouse Knives. It is a company uh, that was started by two different Danish uh, knife makers and designers, ones that we're probably all familiar with, and that is Jens Anso and Jesper Voxness. So they design all the knives for Giant Mouse Knives. It is their company that they started. And there's kind of two different um, facets to the company. There is Giant Mouse, which are all limited production. And then there is the Ace line, which is their production line that where they produce, where they mass produce, let's put it that way. So if it is a giant mouse knife, they're only going to make 400 of them and then they're done. They, they never make it again. The Ace um, line is one that they'll just kind of keep making them as long as there's a demand for it. And this is the latest release from the Ace line, the, uh, the Clyde. And uh, this knife has kind of had a storied and checkered, checkered history. A lot of people would tell you that Clyde um, is an asshole, and uh, it's kind of become a joke uh, among the community, kind of where's Clyde. So this knife was supposed to release several months ago, and I believe there was some production issues, and uh, it ended up, ended up getting pushed back a couple times. And so it just kind of became a running joke of, you know, where's Clyde? And, you know, Vox and, and Jens Anso and... All the people at Giant Mouse, they were really cool about it and funny about it and just kind of made fun of themselves. And, and everybody, I think, kind of understood that they uh, wanted to wait until they could uh, bring a knife to market that was up to their standards. And uh, it was just released. And I ordered one, and here it is. So let's take a look, a first look at the Clyde. I've been very, very excited about this. I started following this knife probably a little late in the game, maybe like June of 2019. So there's the Giant Mouse Ace box. Doesn't look like we have any markings other than that. And let's just go ahead and get into this guy and see what uh, what this Clyde Punk is all about. Okay, I think we got a box inside a box. So you get a little Giant Mouse uh, knife, uh, Ace little card. And then here is a box within a box. It's a pretty small knife. And if you just look at pictures, you may not necessarily assume that, but if you look at the specs, which I'll, I'll briefly touch on, it is uh, on the smaller side, I think, for a lot of people. So, how funny would it be if like there was nothing in here? It was just all a big joke. All right, there is Clyde. And I'm really tempted to just take it off camera and kind of fondle with it, but I want to give, uh, for those of you that are interested in this knife and have been following along and just kind of want to see what it looks like, I wanted to get this out kind of sooner than later so people could get a, a glimpse of it, so to speak. So I obviously opted for the micarta handle scales with the orange accents. This does also come in black G10 with red accents. So those are your two options. Uh, as we can see, it's got thumb stud deployment. It's got a lanyard hole there. My Carta is really, really nice. It's got a Torx pivot, recessed hardware. It's got a nice wire pocket clip. I love these pocket clips more than you know. It's got good tension on it. It's uh, kind of a flat um, finish to it. It's not, uh, it's not polished, which I like. And the backspacer here, I believe that's gonna be aluminum pretty certain that's aluminum and that also creates your lanyard uh, hole and there's your thumb stud and it is a liner lock as you can see so we'll deploy this guy uh, and see see how he does Ooh, nice yeah I failed the first time let's try that again okay so he comes out nice and fast there is the blade it's an upswept blade shape as you can see with a stonewash finish and the blade seal on this guy is LMAX. So we'll see that on the back side here. Got the Giant Mouse Ace logo. And then there's your Torx uh, for removing the 
thumb stud should you need to for sharpening or something like that. But that blade shape I do really like. Um, they say it's kind of a mix between Scandinavian and Japanese, kind of a little Persian influence. Um, so definitely an interesting blade shape, but certainly useful. Got some belly, I imagine it'll be a pretty good slicer. So let's talk about specs briefly, shall we? So the overall length on this guy is basically seven inches. It's like 6.98 or something like that. So it's about a seven inch knife overall. Your blade length is gonna be three inches. Your cutting edge is one, two, eh, call it three inches. You're getting pretty much a full three inches of cutting edge. And your handle is gonna be just a hair under four inches. Um, so for me, when it comes to an EDC knife, kind of the seven inch overall, with a four inch handle and a three inch blade is kind of where I like uh, to land as far as size is concerned. And I have big hands. I wear an extra large size glove. So it's not a large knife by any means whatsoever. I think most people would pick this up and say that's a pretty small knife, but I think it's a, a great size for EDC. Let's check out the centering there. Looks dead perfect. Let's take a little closer look at that liner lock. We've got some texturing um, along there. As you can see, there is a ton of real estate to get in there and disengage that lock. So um, that's gonna be a non-issue. I think what I probably need to do is loosen the pivot slightly and uh, I'll take this guy down completely, maybe polish the washers, add some, uh, some lube and, and kind of tune it up. But all in all, I think the quality seems fantastic. These are made in Italy, in uh, I believe it's Mangiano, which is where Spyderco makes a lot of their knives. Uh, so anyway, dimensionally, four inch handle, three inch blade, seven inches overall. The weight is just two and a half ounces, so super lightweight. Um, definitely kind of a featherweight. And uh, yeah, so you got the green Camus Micarta, as I mentioned with the, the orange accents, and I think that combination of the green and the orange looks fantastic. I'm not usually huge on orange. I do have a few knives that are that are orange, but uh, I think with this green micarta, I think it looks fantastic. And in looking at the micarta, just again, kind of first impressions here, is that they've kind of knocked the edges off. So it is slightly chamfered. So I'm not feeling any sharp edges anywhere. Everything's kind of nicely finished. And I can't really find anything just based on this first kind of five, 10 minute impression negative to say about it. Um, I think maybe, and time will tell, that I would like or prefer rather for that liner lock to have been kind of cut in a little bit more so that you have a little bit more space for your forefinger to actually go into this you know, choil, so to speak, but it's not uncomfortable by any means. For me, it's a kind of a three finger grip, three and a half. There is a little bit of texturing and or jimping rather on the spine of the blade, as you can see there. That to me is uh, not super functional in that it sits uh, below the surface of the handle scales. So I'm not getting a ton of purchase on that jimping. So um, yeah, not, not super purposeful, but it is what it is. As I mentioned, the blade is L-Max. It's a powdered steel made by Bowler. Uh, it's a stainless steel. Uh, and according to Giant Mouse, they targeted these to about 60 HRC and they use a cryo uh, uh, treatment for the quench, as I understand it. Um, and I'll actually be sending this off to uh, a friend of mine to do some, some cut testing. And ultimately I will have it um, have it HRC tested as well, just because I'm curious, not because I think uh, Giant Mouse is trying to pull one over on us. The pivot here is gonna be running on bronze washers. So that is what the action is looking like there. And you can kind of see those bronze washers right there. Fit and finish is really excellent. I must say uh, the spine of the blade is crowned. So if I can get a good angle, you can see that the spine is rounded over or crowned. So you have no 90 degree uh, transition. So if, if you're choking up on this guy, 
up near the tip. It's just super comfortable for my thumb to slide up and down the spine of that blade. So I like that, that extra step to crown the spine. The grind on this uh, feels like a hollow grind. And it's a, I guess, relatively high hollow grind. The edge seems pretty thin, not significantly thin, but I'll take some behind the, you know, behind the edge thickness measurements and I'll do a full review, of course, on this, uh, on this knife. But first impressions are good in terms of the aesthetic of this knife. I really like, I think it's beautiful. I think the materials uh, were well chosen. I think the micarta looks fantastic. The orange accents are great. The attention to detail to kind of round over the edges on the handle scales to crown the spine, um, things like that, I think uh, are, are some nice touches for sure. And the price tag on these guys is about 150 bucks, whether you get the stonewashed, or I'm sorry, the uh, micarta version you see here, or the black G10 version, which again has red accents. Uh, so those are your two options. And again, about 150 bucks, 155, and they should be available kind of for, for a long time. This specific example with the micarta is currently sold out because again, these were very highly anticipated, but being that it's from the Ace line, they do multiple runs of these knives so that they are made available um, for a long time, right? As long as there's demand. This is not a giant mouse knife in that they're making a lot of these. So the uh, Black G10 with red accents is currently available uh, to order from Giant Mouse directly. As I'm filming this, this one is not. However, there are a lot of dealers uh, who, who have these knives, so just search around, and I'm sure you can find one if you want one. But uh, first impressions, I would say, are good. It's it's not something that is, is blowing me away, you know, that I'm going to call all my friends and say, you have to buy this knife. But that's based on, you know, 12 minutes of having this in my hand, probably less than that. Um, and, you know, we'll see how it performs, right? The uh, the blade steel, again, being L-Max, we'll see how that uh, holds up, how it performs. And uh, I'll do a full review on this in the future. But that's just kind of a first look at the Giant Mouse Ace Clyde. And I like it. I think the design is nice. I think uh, Vox and, and Anso, I think they both do good designs and they collaborate on every design that Giant Mouse puts out. And so I'm digging this one. And it's comfortable, like ergonomically it is comfortable. Again, that jimping is not doing anything for me. Um, I think the liner lock could have been done a little differently, but all in all, like the pocket clip placement and just the silhouette of the handle does not make for an uncomfortable knife. It's it's quite comfortable in the hand and just a basic EDC kind of saber grip or a pinch grip and a hammer grip. I'm getting not really much of any hot spots to speak of. It's not the most hand filling knife in the world. It's something like 0.5 inches in thickness. Um, and again, just a small knife overall, but I love the design. I love the blade shape. I like the choice of blade steel. It's not one that I'm terribly familiar with, but again, I'll be having that tested uh, both for performance and for hardness, which will be interesting to see. I also kind of like, and I usually don't say this because I typically prefer Torx adjustments on both sides, but on this one, on the back side, it looks like you just have a captured uh, pivot and it looks nice. It's not uh, gaudy or, or anything like that. So yeah, all in all, I think uh, the Clyde is gonna be a winner. And I think the price is fair for the materials you're getting. Some of the nicest micarta that I've ever seen, frankly. Um, the fit and finish seems to be really well done. I think they made some good design choices and uh, good materials. So yeah, that is Clyde. That is the Clyde that has been missing and everybody's been looking for for the last, I don't know, four or five months. And uh, he's, he's here. So, you know, again, you can go to giantmouse.com and order direct from them or check your favorite dealer and see if they have Clyde in stock. Um, but yeah, first impressions are good. So stay tuned for the full review. That'll come probably not for another month at least. Again, I'm gonna have some testing done to the knife. I am also gonna do my own testing 
uh, before I can completely formulate my thoughts to do a full review, but um, I definitely can't complain really about anything. There's nothing that is a gross violation, if that makes sense. And it's actually already smooth, smoothed up a little bit, just in the 10 minutes that I've been uh, kind of fiddling with it. So yeah, I'm liking it. Let me know what you guys think. You know, What do you think of the design? Do you think it's aesthetically pleasing? What do you think of the materials? Is this something that you would buy for yourself or something you'd maybe add to your wish list? Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. That is all I've got. Again, that has been the Giant Mouse Ace Clyde in green canvas micarta with orange accents, L Max Steel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will talk to you soon.